Hey guys, what is up? It is Flankermonk here, and I'm showing you a new game called Mushroom Wars. It's kind of a indie game in all extent. They actually have a Mushroom Wars 2 coming out here. But this game looks like it'd be fun. I've played games like it. Um, again, it's kind of like, and you'll see here in a moment, you command a bunch of little, little cute little dudes, like warriors, to go on attack and capture these little buildings. And the buildings generate more guys that you can send to capture other buildings while the enemy is also trying to capture you. There's a multiplayer, there's a campaign, there's a skirmish. And, um, uh, I'm trying to go here. Uh, when I mentioned uh, I've played games like it before. There are a lot of free versions of this game, really, like, or games that are very similar to this that are for free. Uh, excuse me. But, um, but I bought this one, I think it's like, it was like eight bucks when I bought it. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, and I don't find, like, now, people might ask, well, why would you buy a game that you can get, you can play, that's pretty much, you can play a version of it for free? My thought was, um, is that I don't mind investing in uh, games that are pretty much, uh, oh, good, fun games. It's kind of like the app game you guys get in your phones on occasion, the people that actually use the, you know, the phone apps, where like, you should spend a little money on it just so you can buy the game initially, or just, you know, mess around with stuff, because you really enjoy the game. I think this game's cute, it's fun to play, it's kind of relaxing, like, if you just want to just sit back and enjoy... Sometimes sit back and enjoy. Sometimes you get, it gets intense because you're really trying to win. But uh, pretty much what's going to happen is I'm going to hop into the campaign. And I'm going to play a little bit of the campaign for you guys. And you'll get a pretty good feel of what the game's about. And it's an indie game, so it, it's going to be whatever. I played one skirmish and um, had one win. But again, I played games like this before. That's why I know I like it. After playing the one game, it's exactly like the stuff I played before. Um, and it's enjoyable. Some people may not like it. They apologize if you don't like this, but um, but this is what I'm going to show you guys. So bear with me, and maybe you'll find a game that you don't like, or you do like. God, I, words. We all know I don't know how to use words, guys. Anyways, the first one, <clears throat> conquest, rewards, uh, normal. We'll do normal. Uh, normal. That's cool. Easy little twig. Normal. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Oh? Oh, that's pretty cute. Oh, is it like a little pirate dude with his like, eye going out? Hmm. Hold on, guys. I wonder if there's a, a sound option. Hold on. Because um, I wonder why there's any sound coming out of it. It might be music, and I'm trying to avoid copyright um, in case this is copyright music. Enemies building sent. So to capture enemies building, send your troops in there with right mouse button. Okay. And uh, continue. Okay, so I click on this, guys. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me just. Uh, what, wrong button. Options. Uh, da, 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 video settings. Okay. This might be for just the game. Um, what's gonna happen, guys? That's kind of like the feel of music, but, um, I'm not gonna play it too long, so I won't get copyright. I'm gonna look into it, and if it's copyrighted music, uh, I won't use it. But, in future videos of this, I will. So, we're gonna select on this, and we're gonna send some little dudes. Go catch this building point here. It's like a tutorial, I guess, pretty, really. And, as you see, this, like, this building is, they're making units, right here. The bigger buildings make units better, but, uh, faster, because they also, they can also, uh, hold more units. So I got this guy, and I sent some more units over here. And I got this guy, sent some more units over here. And you can, like, stack units from coming from different buildings. There's, there's a strategy, especially when like, the maps get really big. Um, they're burning each other alive. Essentially what happens, though, is that every, like, unit you send is an equivalent of one of their units. And it's kind of like almost like a numbers game, if you like numbers. So, like, you want to overwhelm them with your numbers. But you also got to consider that um, you can't just keep sending units assuming you're going to outnumber them. Because there's a strategy to this. Like... If, depending on the, the buildings you capture, uh, may, and like how in the orders you capture them may depend on like uh how you win. So like someone could have all the biggest buildings and you could have all the smaller ones, but if they're trying to like take all your buildings and you're just like moving your got your your units around and you can stack them over the max point, they just start to decrease a little bit. Um, so like if I like this building, I think it can hold like 25. Uh, like the one in the top upper left, or the one I've selected, like both of them can hold like 25. I think 25, 30. You can go over 30, but the the number will decrease the units have. So you can send a bunch of units, stack them in a building, and then send them all out too if you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send a bunch more units, try and overwhelm this building, 
And the way it works is that if this guy hits past zero, like so, becomes my builder. And I win. That's pretty much the gist of the little, I guess, tutorial campaign thingy. Now we're going to do next level. Capture all enemy bases. So, this is what I'm saying. Like, this one can hold, like, oh, okay, 30 ish. I think you can, like, upgrade. Uh, I'm going to start sending units to attack this. I can't see their numbers, though, so I don't know how many they have. And right here, I'm, I'm going to go way over the limit. Oh, it's like 50. And I think if I just sit here, um, it should start decreasing a little bit. That's how most of them go. Uh, let me just make sure I'm not, I was just lying to you guys. I wonder, I wonder what the limit is. Maybe, oh, maybe they took that out. Cause I knew like when you let them in there too long and it was like over the, the limit, it uh, they decreased. I'm just going to send a bunch of them going over there to destroy stuff. <laughs> Their little screams. Yes, mushroom scream. Nice. That's pretty cool. Like, this, game, this game is pretty much relaxing. It, it, you can honestly probably find an app like it on your phone. But if you guys, uh, you don't want to try out this game for yourselves, I will leave a description, or a link in the description. God. Again, we know I can't English. I don't know how to words, man. Come on! Send my mushroom army! See, now they're actually sending out soldiers and capturing. That's what I mean, like, uh, okay, we're gonna send a couple. And they gotta be careful because if I weaken this too much, they could come in and swipe it from me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and force them to pay attention to their main stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like he's going for my stuff. Hold on. Come on. Got to defend. Oh, shoot. They are... Uh, okay. Well, we're going to try and force them out. So he's probably going to take that. Yeah, they took that. So that, that happened. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move some guys to the front. So in hopes that hey got bigger. But also sucks that this thing regens. So if I want to capture this, I gotta devote troops to go there. So what's gonna probably happen? I'm gonna send a bunch of guys. And I'm gonna overwhelm that. That's the plan. It's just overwhelm with some brute force. Even though that's not the best in most games, I I have the field advantage. Um, and we're going to reinforce back here because they're trying to take it from me. And, yep, see, this is how it goes. It's a back-and-forth game. It does, that's what I, I just think it was pretty, it's a relaxing game. But you also, depending on how, like, your settings and how things go, you could be going at it, it's like, you gotta be focused sometimes. Like, really focused. Like, here, I'm trying to make sure I don't, like, overlook a building and they take it away from me. Because I'm sending all my guys out. You know, I'm reinforcing the proper points. Like, I kind of take that center point, but it just seems a lot faster to destroy the enemy. And you also got to consider, like I said, most games, you'll probably, like, all the buildings will eventually get captured. I'm um, going to the next level. But, uh, oh my god, what the heck's going on here? Uh. Uh. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. They got a lot more units than I do. So they're going to overwhelm me. Okay. I, I see what's going on here. So. So. Hmm, I need to prevent them. Yeah, so you see, he's slowly sending his guys out to take from me. So I need to I need to keep him from taking my stuff. Oh Jesus, he's he's going on the offensive. He's going on the offensive. Come on. So if I can prevent him from taking stuff as well, that'd be ideal because uh because then he won't those units are getting wasted. Oh God. No 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 no. Yep. I'm really just trying to deplete him. Um, uh, because what I'm doing is I'm preventing him from getting units. By doing that, is I'm sending units to reinforce the buildings he's attacking, and that way he can't grow units. So essentially, in, in the essence, he's wasting, um, he's wasting his guys. This is what I'm trying to do. So, oh boy, here we go. He's going after that. We're gonna try and take that back from him. Um, I don't have the units. He's coming back. Oh boy. Oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. It's actually a lot tougher because he started with a lot of stuff. Ah, come on. Hold that, hold that, hold that. Come on. Hold it, hold it. Let's try and force him out here. That's the plan. If I get this big building from him, 
then yeah, he should be all for not because these big buildings do grow faster. Uh huh. And we're gonna reinforce there. And go take that building from him. Send some more guys. And send up a back vanguard unit. Even though they're not really vanguards, but. Can I upgrade these? I don't know. But we're also gonna do this. We're gonna try and take that from them. Now I got this big guy from him. I can send a bunch of units. I need to make sure I don't lose this though. So I'm gonna send a bunch of small amounts back to your reinforce it. Um, that big building was the key, it, lo it looks like. It was the only one on this map, and it, was, it produces really fast, as you see. It's going up a lot faster than the rest of them. So, they were pretty much getting enough units to keep fighting on. Now, I've really dwindled them down. Uh, yeah, and I should be able to finish this off here. They're on the last six, so... And there we go. But, yeah. Again, it, different buildings have different stats. Let's go to the next stuff here. Capture all enemy buildings. So, uh, I'm going to say this, guys. Bridge, but what happens is that the towers, they don't generate units, but they do. They shoot at units that come around them within that circle, like the blue circle you see around here. That's, like, blue one. Or, and this, uh, they shoot at stuff. So, like, he owns the one, and I don't. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to want to capture it. And he has less units, but I'm going to do this. Hopefully, I'm not going to screw myself right away. But by taking this, so I've captured it, i got seven guys in there. It doesn't generate. It can deplete, but um, essentially what's going to happen is uh, I can reinforce it a little. I'm going to hold off before I actually start sending more guys to it. So I'm going to send some more units into there. And then I'm going to send a bunch of guys there. I'm going to show you exactly what's going to happen here. So when they enter this blue circle, this tower is going to shoot at them. And it destroys, yeah, one guy per. It's actually really helpful to have that. But the problem is, is that, um, is that you can't, they don't regen. And so it's kind of annoying because you're trying to, like, reinforce those towers. Because they're kind of helpful to have. You also got to be careful, like, you don't lose your points. So if I'm just, my, like, he got 34 minutes in here. If he sent in, like, his 17 guys, he might be able to take this. Uh, he probably wouldn't be able to. But he could attempt to take my one building that I have on this map. If he takes that, well, it doesn't matter because then my tower can't regenerate units. So... If, if you you're you're better off not having a tower though, and having a, a normal building. But the towers do help because it dwindles down enemy units way before they even get close to the buildings. And it's a whole other strategy to consider. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually send some more units under here. I'm trying to play it a little safe here, guys. So I got 50 guys in here, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna send a bunch of units to try and take that from him. And so now I took it. So I'm going to move these guys up a little bit. And I'm going to move a unit into the tower. So now it's, he has two towers to go through if he wants to take my main stuff. Um, and now, now you can't... The one thing that, this isn't like a major strategy. So like a game where you can like, oh, let's send my units to the top right. Or... Um, uh, da, 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 da. But essentially... So you can't send to the top right. But like say, oh, unit come stand over here and then attack from the flanks. No, you ha when you command like a ta like a, a building to go to another building, the guys are gonna run straight there. So they'll pass up any other buildings they go by, or they'll just do their own thing. So I've already kind of overpowered them really. So I'm gonna try and force it and just take the building from them. And that generally how you win. A little slower, because I'll show you guys, like, the tower aspect. But, I mean, towers are pretty fun to mess with. And it's a relaxing game. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, we're going to take the tower first. And we're going to try and take this big building. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Okay, cool. So, I made the first move. He's probably going to reinforce. So what I'm going to wait for my guys to regen a little bit before I make my move. I'm hoping I can take the big stuff first, um, before he can. Uh, but I'm less units, so he'll probably take it before I do. Way before I do. Yep. Uh-huh. And we're going to send some units over there. But the interesting is I can't see the number of units he has in his buildings. And, oh boy, he's going for that. He's going to take that from me. I'm, I'm below. So I need to reinforce my tower. 
I'm probably gonna play a little defensive here, guys, right off the bat. Oh wait, I can see these guys because they haven't taken. Oh, they haven't taken it yet. Shoot, go for it. Oh boy, come on. If I can take that from him. Oh no, this might this might be the end of me. This might be the end. This might be the end. Well, it might be the end of that offensive. So okay, so the, uh, I, that, that failed. Um, I might need to I might need to take that tower first, and I don't want to. So he's at he's at a hundred. If you see the bottom um, of the screen, guys, there's a bar. I have 72 guys, 73 guys available to me. He has 120 whatever. So pretty much what's gonna happen is oh boy, let's do this. Reinforce that. What I might need to do is do something that's an equivalent of flanking, and just send guys down to the bottom building and then send it across. But um, ah oh, dang, I am so outnumbered right now. How do I? Hmm. We send like a couple guys down there. Send you here. So sending an equivalent of half my guys. No, 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 no. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh no, he's going. Oh no, he's going for the. Oh gosh. Oh no. I thought he was going for a different building. So crud. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna. Oh, he has a lot more big stuff than bigger stuff than I do. I just realized he's gonna outnumber me really fast. So I need to take stuff from him. Oh no, 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 no! Come on, come on! I should have thought about this. I'm probably gonna lose this guy because I, did, I didn't look at the buildings he had. Can I upgrade these? I didn't think these were upgraded, naturally, or unless you upgrade them manually, which I guess I don't know how to do. So I took that from him. Oh, he upgraded. How do I upgrade? I don't know how to upgrade. Oh boy, I'm probably gonna lose this because I don't know how to upgrade. I guess there's more aspect to this than I didn't even realize, guys. Oh boy. Yep. Uh, I think I just lost. <laughs> so, my bad. I wasn't paying attention. I should I should look at like the uh, how the upgrades work. Cause I thought I knew everything there was to this game, but the en yeah the enemies upgrading their buildings. And I don't know how they uh how they did that. Unless they just naturally grow. Yeah, there's no way. I'm in a corner. Unless it just gets bigger with the number of guys you have in there. No, it can't be. Yep, he's gonna take that from me. I don't know. Yeah, I know this is getting to its max, so how are they upgrading them? It's whatever they're doing there that's upgrading, and I don't know what it is. I don't know. They're at 312 and I'm at 37. I am so screwed. I don't know how I can bring this back. Yeah, because like he's gonna shoot my guys, and then yep. Yep, I didn't do enough damage though. What's probably gonna happen is he's gonna overrun me. Um the AI. It probably would have overrun me by now if I was on hard, but it's on normal, so it's just like I'm gonna take it nice and slow. Like that. So I got now six guys. Yeah, I messed up, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna need to go back to the drawing board and learn about this, how this upgrade works, like what's the command for it and how and the, the rules. But so I just got beaten. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is pretty much Mushroom Wars. Uh, pretty chill game, in my opinion. It's fun to play on occasion. I will put a link in the description, the link to the game. But you can also probably find games just like it for free. So um, to it's like eight bucks, I think, if I remember right. I guess when I bought it, it was eight bucks, but it, I think it gives replayable value. And I'm personally, it's a game I, I don't mind playing. But again, I will put in the link in the description. Uh, but you could probably find a free version if you wanted to play it. But yeah, guys, that was much for more. If you enjoyed like the video, please uh, leave a like. If you guys didn't like the video, please leave a dislike. Um, and you guys want to leave a comment, you know about.
Well, Zach, how come you didn't upgrade your buildings? Because you suck. I don't know. Or just comment about how pretty you think I am. You know you haven't seen my face. Um, please leave those. I will read them, and I will try and get back to you guys on those. And if you want to keep up to date on my content, because either you're just checking out my con uh, channel, and you're like, oh, this guy seems pretty cool. I want to keep up to date on his stuff. Hit that subscribe button. And if you know, you're already subscribed, please stay subscribed. Because I, as you guys know, I, I release pretty commonly. Um, I probably would release more than my normal three days a week, but since I'm a college student, kind of a predicament. We'll see what happens when summer comes along, when I got a little more free time. I may upload more five days a week, but we'll see. But yeah, guys, that was Mushroom Wars. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.